welcome back to my channel and welcome to a vlog slash day in my life. I hope that you guys enjoyed this format today. There is a mukbang in here. We're working out. It's kind of like a vlog slash day in my life. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Please let me know down below if you guys are into this format. If you're not, give me some feedback. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. making myself my protein shake we already have some frozen berries in here i added some pumpkin seeds some almond milk um, and then i'm going to add some spinach i am missing my chia seeds but i'm all out of that now i'm adding a full banana then i'm going to add some ice and then i'm going to go in with my protein which is this one from vega or vega 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 i'm not sure <laughs> I got some stains on my hands. All right, guys. So I'm currently getting ready to film a video right now. I'm on the floor. Um, I don't usually film on the floor, but um, because I'm using so many products and I haven't gotten a new table for this room yet, um, I'm going to be filming on the floor just because obviously there's so much room on the floor. But I'm going to be filming with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise collection, with the whole collection, which I am so, so, so excited about. Um, this is like a really, really bomb collection. You guys know that I freaking love e.l.f. So anyways, I'm going to be filming that. Um, and then I'm also going to be taking some photos after this. And then we're going to be heading to Five Guys. Which I'm excited because I'm hungry, but not so much because it's five guys because like I said the last time that I went I was like I'm never coming back here. It's so overpriced and it's just not that good. So I guess we'll see My rooms get really really messy really really quick like I just cleaned my closet on Friday It's already a disaster because anytime that I choose clothing to like change into I just go in there take everything off throw it on the floor and then it's a mess again so that's why um, on Fridays we clean we kind of go into like cleaning everything and it's annoying but it's necessary because otherwise my shit will pile up and it will be a disaster so anyways Michael is currently cutting his hair right now actually okay this is how I do it right here it's so this trick. is how he does his little trick here there's a mirror right here and it like reflects and you can see yeah like so that. that's his little all right enough secrets okay enough secrets. <laughs> I can't find my eyelash glue. Like, where is it? I don't understand. Like, where could it have gone? First, I couldn't find my eyelashes, my favorite lashes, so I just got random lashes, and now I can't find the eyelash glue. I, like, I have different eyelash glue, but once you kind of get used to a glue, it's kind of like having to start all over, and then... Ugh. Oh my god, I hate this glue so much. It sucks. For some reason, my laptop is not connecting to my computer. Like, it was fine. And then after the whole eyelash situation, it seems like everything just kind of went downhill. And, like... Okay, so this is my outfit for today. This dress is from Windsor. You guys, it's so cute. Currently out of stock, but I'm going to list it down below. So when it's in stock, you guys can go and get it. And this cute little bag from Boohoo. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing my new uh, New Balance 
uh, what are they? Six, Grandpa 608? Shoes. Grandpa. Grandpa shoes, but you guys, I seriously love them so much. They're so cute. Got a little anklet on. Yeah, um, It's cool. a vibe, but I love them. I want to give you guys like a little shoe haul once we get back. Um, but that is what I'm wearing. And these sunnies are actually from White Fox Boutique. So we're going to get some content. Pretty excited. So let's go. This is the part that I don't miss about car mukbangs is trying to find a good place to film but then I'm like already hungry and the food's in here but we have to drive around <laughs> and it's hot too y'all hell it just fell like really hard wow all right so we found a spot this is extremely illegal though the way that we're parked but whatever so this is the Five Guys fries. So the debate was that Five Guys is better than In-N-Out. And uh, that was the majority that we've seen online. Yeah? yeah. Majority? No. Yeah. Whoa. And um, Minya and Senya go to In-N-Out at least twice a week. But um, we haven't gave Five Guys a chance in some time. And okay. the debate was we had to come and try it out again for the second yeah, time. Yeah, because the last time that I tried it, I was like, it's overpriced AF and it's not good. So, so I got the little burger. Michael got the regular, regular burger. burger. And we got large fries for about $25. Liter oh, with the, with, the, with the drink, it was like $28. Oh. So this was like $28. And out, in and out, we get a meal. We get all this for, what, $11? Yeah. So that in itself is... So we're already double and a half. It is what it is. We're not really worried about it. Whatever, whatever. If it's good, it's worth it. But when it's trash, it's like, what? I just paid my arm. For so the bag is greasy. And for me, sometimes that's a good sign. This is kind of hot. I mean, And there's fries cold. in the bag. I'm just going to get in. I'm just... Are you ready? You're going to get in? Or we should do a thumbnail time. We have another thumbnail time in like 19 years. 19? I thought yeah. it was like 20. Yeah. Okay, are you I ready? It was 20 years. Let's oh, that down. was your thing. Okay. Como que se mira descolorido, but... The, the video, huh? Yeah. We don't know how to win today. Or today we've been losing. We've been, been losing. Been, you didn't even know what happened to me. I lost my eyelashes. Last Your time. eyelashes? My eyelashes, my eyelash glue, the, compu the computer wouldn't work. It was a whole thing. Uh, I took like more than an hour on my hair. It's been a day. It's been a day. I think this food is well deserved. Okay. Imagine we lose with this food too. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, the fries are alright. I just wish they had more sauces. I said, what other type of sauce do you guys have for your fries? They said barbecue. <laughs> and ketchup. And then barbecue. So huh? what? I usually like my fries with Can ranch. Can you soda for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Of course. First bite, it's okay. It has fresh jalapeno peppers in there, which I like. Like? I didn't get them grilled. I got them You, you didn't get them grilled? I will give them a 10 in their setup of their burger. That can be make or break for me. For you? If it's messy and I can't even eat it properly. Mm, you're right, you're I'm right. I'm gonna cool off you. That's one, of, that's one of the reasons I love Colorado Girl so much too. Because I'm gonna shut up. And this is nice and set up. So I'm, I'm digging their fries a little more than in and out. Mm-hmm. I think so. The fries are a tad bit better, but what I do with my in and out fries is I put um, I put the um, the sauce, what is it called again? Thousand Island? Is it, they call it Thousand? No, it's, it's called Spread. Some, I put spread on it, and then I put um, the little chili peppers and ketchup, so. And now without the chili peppers, it's not the same. 
We guys, sorry about this lighting. It's making our food look hella desabrida and like, it's not the business, but. I guess I'll eat it even though it doesn't look that nice on the camera. I should have asked for a light tomato. So, um, the juicy is pretty. The what? I mean, the burger is pretty juicy. Um, kind of soggy. Oh, uh, I miss doing car mukbangs. I mean, I don't miss the problem with it all, and I hope you guys can hear it, even though the AC is on, but it's hella hot, y'all. Way too hot. I thought I heard something. But you know what? It's a new metal mic this year. The new metal mic, car mukbanger. He doesn't get too crazy. He has patience. We're gonna be all right. Love it. Honestly, 2020 has showed me a lot of patience as well. Mm -hmm. If I didn't think I could learn anymore, I'm learning. Oh, I'll show you. I will always push the threshold of patience. Will you promise? Yeah. So what to tell you guys? What have you been up to? How has quarantine been? We've still very much been in quarantine. Even though things are opening up because... Listen, honey. I do not want to catch the Rona, girl. And a majority of... Um the comments and everything was like five guys hands down hands down all you californians they said all you californians don't know what a burger tastes like where's five burgers from uh, i'm not sure five guys oh. okay who gets this who gets this from their partner like seriously i'll be eating like eating and like or doing something you can tell what i'm doing and she'll be like what are you doing and me, eating, Michael? And me, like... You'll be eating? Mm hmm No, you won't. You'll be, like, on your phone no, doing something, I'll be, yes? I'll be, like, eating or doing something that you can tell. Like, I'm doing what you're seeing I'm doing. And she'll be like, what are you doing? Maybe. I literally don't do that. She does that. No, I don't. You'll be on your phone and I'll be like, what are you doing? You could be doing a lot of stuff on your phone. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you. If you think that in your head, that's what it is. Anyways, we both finished the burger. That's a good sign, I guess. Mm -hmm. I will say the patty did have a good flavor. I felt like um, a lot of the condiments and like the lettuce and, and tomato and the bread got really soggy. Yeah. And um, we honestly, what? I kind of felt like it wasn't cohesive. Like... And that's what I felt about it last time. Like it just doesn't mesh together. Like it just, it tastes like tomato, peppers. The patty had a good taste. It doesn't taste, become one. But it doesn't become one. Yes, exactly. Where in and out is like, it melts together. Colorado Grill, it melts together. It's a flavor as a whole. And I feel like Five Guys is just like, I can taste the separate condiments. I can taste everything, which yeah. is fine, but it just, where is the unity? Where is the unity in the burger? my thoughts on the burger was I will not take it over in and out me either I first judge off first judge off price then quality then service so everything to me was okay um, the burger itself wasn't was it, it was soggy it got soggy it got soggy really fast yes but also that's not their fault um, I feel like they really suffocated in also, that Also, actually, oil. now that I think about it, in and out even in the amount of time, the buns are hot and yeah. shiny. Because they oil. really suffocated in here. Don't you yeah. think? Maybe and then it's all breathe. moisture and it just, just gets soggy. Yeah. in and out they, they let their burger breathe. Yeah. Uh, five guys, you might want to take notes a little bit on that part. They let their burger breathe. Um, your fries are better than In-N-Out's. What, what's better than In-N-Out? 
I feel like that's how my mom's fries taste. I feel like my mom's not. fries are good, but I mean they're really good, but I guess I could get them at my mom's house, so I'm kind of like I can't get in and out fries at my mom's house. So I feel like in and out is kind of just kind of plain. Yeah. Plain Jane. No, I don't like that you could have the peel on that. Maybe that's what I'm not like. Maybe it gives it a little that. flavor. It gives it a little crunch. Uh, yeah. So guys, comments below. Let us know. Five guys or in and, and out, out for you. Or in and out fries and Five Guys Burger. Or how do you get your Five Guys Burger that makes it cohesive? Because I feel like it's also hard because it's like you don't have just a classic burger. Like they just get it's like Subway. Like there's not oh. there's a million ways that you can make a Subway sandwich. Let's get to the bottom you know? of this. Get to the bottom of this because we need we need to know. And then we can't see you guys all the way because I only have one contact in. So I should be getting my new contacts by the end of this week. So how'd you do your makeup then? <sighs> I hope it looks good. I don't know. You look all right. All right, so it's really a thing. And then, then two burgers and fries. A toe. Give me a toe. Ah! You know when that fry goes steps, in between Like hella deep in there where it's not reaching In between anymore? the seat dude, like, oh, dude It's not really Look at this forehead dude You guys like, it's seriously a thing Trying game. to get cute photos out and about Is really like a thing First of all we found a really cute spot right But there was a car there And then also the lighting wasn't really right But it was a cute spot Prime where time. it was like it had a little bit like it had a palm tree which i wanted a little bit of palm tree and then i also wanted like a nude tan color perfect and so then we're like but the light right now isn't perfect there's a little bit of shadow so we're like okay let's just park and we'll wait like half an hour why while we're sitting there a little senora rolls up and she rolled she up to the, the car right, the car, where, right where we were gonna take the pictures and then she's going to the gym so it's not like she's just getting off to go to the store and gonna come right out like she's gonna go work out so we're like, great, let's find another spot. So then we come to another spot, and obviously I'm used, I'm used to taking photos in front of people usually, but it's still kind of awkward, you know, obviously when there's like hella cars, because then people, people will hold up, and people will hold off traffic, and they'll start like stopping, it's hella uncomfortable when they start honking at you, and then Michael gets mad, and it's like a whole thing. Dude, I don't like anybody disrespecting me, ever. Like, if I'm taking pictures of a girl, like, don't go off and like, yeah. Be whistling or doing none of that shit because I don't put up with that shit. Yeah. So, I mean, he shouldn't get mad because what are we going to do? Like, obviously. Um, but, so anyway, so every time the cars would come by, we would kind of like right, go so we're going to do a little shoe haul moment. Um, but first off, we have these, which I was wearing today, that they're like super dad shoes. Um, it's a New Balance um, in the style 608. Love them. Love them so, so much. I know, you know, they're not for everybody because they're major dad vibes, but I just love them, you guys. I feel like they're so, so cute. Um, and they were actually really hard to find. I had initially seen them on the ASOS website, but they've been sold out in my size but i'll try to find um a link where they're available i know for sure they're available in the uk not in many sizes but i'll still find try to find a link for you guys and list it down below but what do you guys think let me know your honest opinion are these new balances for you are you kind of like opting out of the dad like trend dad shoe trend you know i feel like they're just so cute but they're so dad like my brother and my family were kind of roasting me wait would you guys want like a styling video on all these shoes because listen your girl would be so down or maybe like an instagram video tiktok let me know because if you guys would want to see like how i would style these I'm so down for that. These you guys have probably already seen on my Instagram, um, but I love them, you guys, and they're for sure the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. They're so, so comfortable, and they have these in pretty much every color scheme that you can think of. They have pink, they have pastel, they have gray, and like, it's like gray, black, and like natural colors, and I would actually really, really like those, and I wanted to get them, but they didn't have any in my size, and they've been sold out forever. And these are actually kids, so if you could fit into a kid size, they're, I think, probably like $30 cheaper. There's actually a few shoes here that I have to get kids because otherwise um the even the women's are just too big for me so anyways these are the rsx i do have a link for these so i'll link them down below but trust me they're cute and they're super 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 comfortable
Okay, and these I've been wanting for a while, but they're always sold out in my size. Um, so this is a kid's shoe too, because the women's, I think the smallest size that they have is a six, and it's way too big for me. Um, so I got these in a four, um, and they fit really nice. And I just feel like they're so, so cute. Um, and this colorway is always sold out, just because like the basic, you know, white on white. But I like them, right? They're cute. They kind of have this like wide like style to them which i'm into but i feel like these are just like the perfect trainers for just anything like you could wear this with a dress you could wear this with sweatpants whatever um and i feel like they're so cute and they also have these in different colorways like pink i think they have them in brown nude they have several different colors so i will link that down below i'm also going to link my sizes and just let you guys know if they run small run big yada yada because that's definitely like a thing um and then over here you guys have actually been asking, um, DMing me to do a video on these, um, like how to style them. So let me know in the comments if you guys are down for that. Um, I'm so excited about these because these are always sold out. Um, but it is the um, Air Jordan 1s in just all white. They're so crispy and I cannot wait to wear them. And then if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have definitely seen these because I've already posted them. But I have a lot of outfit ideas coming. So let me know if you guys would want like a video on how to style all of these like sneakers or how to style sneakers. Because listen, your girl is so down for it. And then over here I have a bunch of clothes that I want to do like a little haul on. I don't know if I should do like a specified haul video or if you guys are into these vlogs, let me know and then maybe I could like throw vlog like blah, blah, blah. maybe I could throw um like try on hauls in there. So I don't know, let me know you guys because I'm down for all of it. Okay. All right guys, so we're watching Unsolved Mysteries. We're starting episode 3 right now. Um and I, I feel like I get pretty like into shows like this. Like then I'm like on Twitter trying to figure out if there's an update or like what's the tea and stuff. Have you guys seen it? It's like new, but Michael said that um, it used to exist before and this is like a relaunch. Have you guys watched it? Let me know. Are you guys watching it now? Do you guys like it? I just finished watching or we both just finished watching episode three about Javier Longoria or I don't know if that was his name. But I'm shook. Like, how did he do that? Like, I can't. How could somebody do that? <laughs> it's a lot. Hello. So, today is Monday. And I'm about to upload the video. But I just realized that I actually didn't do an outro yesterday. Um, but anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you guys did enjoy the format. And when I mean the format, I mean kind of incorporating a mukbang into more of like a vlog. Um, as opposed to just doing a mukbang by itself for mukbang Monday. Please let me know. Do you guys want to get straight to the point? Let's just do a mukbang. Let's not bother with the vlog. Do you guys want to see a little... Do you guys want to see like a whole vlog with a mukbang? Let me know the tea, you guys. Please let me know in the comments down below so that way I kind of know what you guys are into and what you guys are not into. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe um, and hit that bell so you guys get notified every single time that I upload. And I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys next time.